In United States v. Arthrex, we'll see whether administrative patent judges were constitutionally appointed under the Appointments Clause. Parties can challenge the validity of previously issued patents at the Patent Trial and Appeal Board, or PTAB, an executive tribunal with the Patent and Trademark Office, or PTO. The President appoints the Director of the PTO, which makes the Director a Principal Officer. The President must appoint Principal Officers, and the appointments must be confirmed by the Senate. In contrast, inferior officers can be appointed by the head of an executive department. Congress held that the Secretary of Commerce could appoint Administrative Patent Judges, or APJs, to PTAB as inferior officers. APJs had the final word on the validity of a patent. Arthrex had a patent for a knotless suture. Smith and Nephew filed a petition for review to have Arthrex's patent declared invalid. A panel of APJs held that Arthrex's patent was invalid. Arthrex appealed PTAB's holding to the United States Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit. Arthrex argued that the APJs were acting as principal officers of the executive branch due to the power the judges had to issue final decisions. The court held that judges were principal officers, and therefore the judges weren't properly appointed. The court vacated PTAB's decision and held that APJs should no longer have protection against removal which would render the judges inferior officers. The court remanded for a new hearing before a panel of judges that wouldn't have protection against removal. All the parties involved appealed different aspects of the court's holding. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.